Here are my Edpuzzle videos that I have created or found and added question to, add questions to. I have some organized in folders and then some down below. I'm going to edit and create my videos here in Edpuzzle so I can find them from YouTube or anywhere else and add all the questions. But when I want to put them in Canvas, after I've connected my account following the directions on the slides, then what I need to do is create an assignment. So I'm in an assignment, I already gave it a title, and I wrote some instructions for my students. Now I need to get the Edpuzzle video into this assignment. So I'm going to go to Submission Type and I'm going to change it to External Tool. And then I'm going to click Find. I'm going to scroll down until I find Edpuzzle. And now I can see my Edpuzzle account. The first time you do this, you will need to sign in to Edpuzzle on this view right here. But I'm already signed in, so I'm going to find the video that I want to use. And you have to click on the eyeball that says Watch. Watch is probably not the best term for this because I want to add it, but anyways, just click where it says Watch. And I can view my video if I want to just double check, but if I want to edit this, I have to go into Edpuzzle to edit or change this. But I'm going to click Assign. And I want to prevent skipping, that's turned on. I also want to turn on closed captions for my students with um, visual impairments, or sorry, hearing impairments. Um, I want them to be able to see the captions. And so I'm going to then click Assign. And then I just press Select. And right now I don't really see Edpuzzle. I'm going to put a due date. I'm going to save this. I'm not going to publish it yet because this is just a sample and I don't want my students to actually see this current assignment. But now what I can do is it's right here within the assignment. I'm looking at the teacher view. So it has a list of all of my student names. If I scroll down, whether they watched it or not, what their grade is, if you had multiple choice questions and it auto grades. Um, you can look at the questions themselves and see how many students got them right or wrong. If you have questions that need to be graded that are like short answer questions, you need to grade those in Edpuzzle, but it will show their accurate grade here in Canvas. And it shows me when they last watched it and when they turned it in, so when they were all complete with the um, video that they watched.